Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again in Scrap Mechanics. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm doing pretty darn well today, and I have made uh, the beginnings of a forklift, you could say. I, it's it's not doing the greatest. Like I don't know. I picture a forklift. I've driven forklifts before, and they they turn in the back. The front wheels don't turn, and it it, it just they usually work a little bit better than what these do. I don't know why, but this one's not working very well at all. Like, it does not turn very sharp. Uh, it is getting pushed. The front wheels are definitely getting pushed. So we could try. I always thought that forklifts also got powered by the back. Um, I don't remember offhand of that case, but let's, let's go ahead and swap these. See if she turns any better. Not really. I mean, we're still getting kind of dragged along. So that's a little unfortunate, um, but you know, it's, it's not bad. Um, we don't have any forks on the front yet. And that was, uh, strictly because, uh, I was doing some testing with some different blocks and uh, nothing seems to really work right. So I'll just, uh, I'll put these on real quick and uh, I'll kind of show you guys what I have here. There you go. There's the forklift. It's just a nice little lifting function, nothing too crazy. Now, uh, there is an actual pallet item in this game. Uh, you can guys, you can see here, and if I go ahead and uh, just put that on that block and then delete that block, it, now it's free floating. But one of the, the sad things about this is, is that um, it's not, let's actually, let's switch this up here for a second. Let's, uh, let's take this, put it right over here. Let's jack her up in the air, and then we'll get rid of this, get rid of this, and then we'll just come off. There's my dog barking. Uh, we'll just come off a little bit right under here. All right, so we come off just like that, and then that will raise that. Oh, it's a little unfortunate. Um... Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's switch our wheels back to the back to be powered. I don't think all four wheels are powered on uh, forklifts. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, that's good. And then we can go ahead and put that down. And we still have the power of the back wheels. But uh, what's a little unfortunate here is if we get this all lined up, it should be a little easier with... Uh, it might actually be the weight in the front, too, that's causing the problems. It might just be... Yeah, it looks like it's, like, really sliding a lot. So, all right. So we can kind of see that we're, we're actually really nicely lined up. Um, and, yeah, we're a little wide for this. But uh, one of the bad things is, is if we take a look here, the blocks are the same height. So there's no real way that I can tell to kind of get under a block like this. Now... We could go ahead and uh, let's, let's add this little block on here. And then like that and that. And that might help. No. All right. Let's, let's try and get over to one side here. Oh, we almost, it looked like we almost had it there. Hmm. Maybe not. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's build this wall out. And I just want to see if I can pick this up at all. I am starting to build a little bit of a facility. That is not the wall that I wanted. Uh, I am starting to build a little bit of a facility here. Uh, if you guys can tell. Um, I do want to start to get into some of the building in this game. Some of the, A little bit of the automation. Um, I'm kind of like holding back on that. Just because of the... Uh... Oh man... Okay, it almost seems like that that is like a completely solid block. Not actually liftable in any way, shape, or form. Um, let's try to get turned here a little bit more and just kind of catch the edge of this. Yeah, see, you don't go under that at all. So unfortunately, that steel pallet is not... It's not useful for us whatsoever, but you can see I set up a little shelving unit over here. There's some other stuff that we could kind of do. Um... I kind of was watching uh, some of the automated processes that uh, goes into the game um, a little bit. And I thought it was really, really cool to check out. But I wanted to go ahead and just finish carrying this over. 
relatively tall building here. And then we could, you know, continue this over. What's kind of neat is that you can carry stuff into um, the, the structures that are already here. And I find that to be really, really neat. So if that's something you guys haven't messed with yet, I suggest it. Still a little under the weather, unfortunately. So my brain, um, t to be quite honest with you, like taking the DayQuil and the NyQuil and stuff like that, I have not been thinking 100% uh, like, I, like I normally do. Uh, so like trying to come up with ideas and everything has actually been really, really tough. But yeah, we can just run these all the way over. Even in here where we're kind of blocked. And then we'll run this one all the way over. So I do have a couple of ideas for builds. Um, it looks like this one sits slightly off. Uh, do have a couple of ideas for builds. I just can't quite get them to work the way that I want to. Uh, also going to re try to recreate some things as well, which I'm really excited about. I love... You guys can't tell I love trying to recreate stuff um, like whether it be from like a movie or you know just something I've seen from X a lot um, I've, I've tried to recreate a lot of different stuff and everything and I think it's really really cool and really really fun to do so why don't we take say this structure right here we'll take it to the near top and then to right there and so we have this um, this big open doorway, right? And so if we need to drive anything inside, you know, we can do that. We can even come over here to this side. Oh, wow, I lined that up perfectly without even thinking about it. Come all the way over to here, kind of untake this side, put this side up. So we've got a nice straight shot through the facility if we need to so we could do a door here and you know we could go pretty simple uh we could do just like a door just like this if i uh, take this all the way over to there and then we just kind of follow this down like so uh you kind of notice uh one thing about this is that uh, doors they actually have a weight limit so when we do this and i go ahead and hit this button here like so, and I'll just set this to 90. So watch this. It's trying to. And it's kind of got a little bit of a bounce to it. Now, that could have been... Let's close that back up. Yeah, that's that one's probably not really the weight limit thing. Uh, if I had to guess, I think that goes three more. That's more of the floor. Yeah, it is. But that's not bad. Uh, you can see a little bit of the seam at the top. So why don't we do something to try to uh, fix that, to try and remedy this. Uh, we could put a few of these on there. It's actually really tough to get these on there the way that you want to. Um, one of the vehicles that I want to recreate is actually the Elio. Uh, I've tried to make one, like, just very simply. Um, the turning mechanism on a vehicle like that is what I'm having a really hard time with. But, yeah, you can see there it's it's closed relatively easily. Not bad. And we're, we're pretty well set. So we could do the same thing over here. Um, now, that's not, like, the funnest thing in the world to do. Uh, we could even do something a little bit different. So why don't we um, go ahead and get rid of this. And we'll try some other door things. You guys have been asking me, you know, actually about doors. Which I was kind of surprised about. Like, I wouldn't have thought doors would have been something you guys had actually brought up. Um, so we could try and do maybe like a track type door. Like you would see on a garage or something. But that, I think, would actually be a little tough. I don't know how you would do that. Um, and if you did, like, it would be really tough, in my opinion. Um, another thing you could do is we could do, like, sections of door. So why don't we do that? And then if we go ahead and throw that in there, 
then we could continue this over to here and we'll just come down um i really think i only want to come down how how far is this two yeah let's only come down two and then we could put that piece there and then we come down here take this piece out put a piece in here come down two have all that take that out do one like that bingo 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 all right and you kind of get the idea here so we can just oh geez why do i always do this it's always the same thing all right come down over here just like that take that out and then put that in okay so now we've got that one connected let's go ahead and go for this let's go for this and then go for this so from there you could uh well we we could have the next one go all right so if we see this that turns up like that right uh why don't we actually go like a negative 90 with this and then do a positive 90 with this that actually is kind of cool and then uh we'll want to do a positive 90 with this one and then even a negative 90 with the next one so that way it kind of folds up it kind of holds itself up tight let's uh, let's finish this off here real quick it's a fairly simple door design in my opinion And then just continue it all the way over to here. Uh, wait, where did that? That is connected there, and then we're good there. Put this in. Two all the way down, like we see there. Good, good, good. Got that one. Put in this section. And then all the way over again. And then at the very bottom here, we actually, you know what? We don't need to do anything special at the very bottom. We could just continue this all the way over like so. And then connect that one up, that one up, and that one up. All right, so when we open this set, we can have five, I think. Five can go negative. negative 90 and then six can go negative 90 and then seven can go negative 90 oh wait that actually doesn't work very well does it let's go six uh negative 180 oh no no that doesn't work <laughs> Um, let's do positive 90. All right, and then seven, we'll do the same thing, positive 90. There we go. Oh, it's actually getting stuck a little bit. And it's like shifting the entire door. That's a little weird. All right, so this bottom section here is just really really off um yeah i guess just the way that it kind of makes contact with the ground but that's not bad like for a door you can definitely see like so this would be an area of the game that would be really cool to have um the welding tool i think is what it was going to be called that way you could actually like connect so we could have a bearing over here and a bearing over here and actually have the two points connect in the middle uh, especially on that top part so that way the door when it came down it would be level but you can't do that right now for some reason but uh yeah i would say that that is the start of the facility that we have here gonna be working on this quite a bit more if you guys have any ideas for other equipment uh to put into this facility i think that would be really cool uh, we're gonna set up um, we're going to bring in the tractor trailer. Uh, I'll rebuild that in this world. We're going to set up a conveyor belt system, an unloading system, 
and uh, try to do a nice little like a series built around this facility. So, all right, guys, my name is Drax. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.